I just have that itch. I have an itch. Can only be scratched by signing a player. Robbie Blackburn would play for me. That's so cool. Angelo would play for me. Brian Rivero. Nah. Doo doo. Doo doo. Alright. The itch will remain unscratched. I've made the decision. They accepted the loan offer for Anya Barrow. That's good. Okay. We're going to make one little move that's just going to add a body to our team for the back part of the season so we can continue to survive potential fixture congestion while having enough talent to rotate fully. So we're paying like a million dollars on top of 70% of his salary with an optional future fee that I will not exercise for Marco Anyabaro. It's like 500,000 coming out of our transfer budget to complete this deal. To add depth, depth that we were sorely lacking with the injuries and everything else that we've been subjected to. All right, hi Anyabaro. Very unhappy. Very unhappy feels a little, uh, that feels a little unnecessarily intense. Okay, he is a perfectly decent player. You're just being weird. Will I make money on signing Ataliba? Sure. Probably. I'm going to give them an $11 million offer. And, uh, you know, thank you, Mr. Jardine. You've given us a late look at a potential backup goalkeeper in Mr. Ataliba. This guy's going to replace Ted Kurd. Then we're going to want to sign him now so we can start adapting. Yeah, we, we do have a bid out for a player right now. We're working on getting the right deal done. Um... We're excited about the pro you want to you want to be a backup and treat the club as a stepping stone do you under do you hear yourself good deal good contract control on my boy Adaliba as well and we have cinched ourselves an actual second goalkeeper on this team all right Adaliba's deal set Seivald's gonna be moving to Paris FC okay that is 900,000 with 30% uh, chance of the profit. Oh, but he's developing. I think we can get more money for Niall Hewitts in the future. All right, I don't want to alarm anybody. We signed a goalkeeper. We have signed a goalkeeper thanks to a recommendation from the media. I know. I know. We have signed a goalkeeper thanks to a recommendation from the media. I'm in, I'm in as much shock as you are. Have I played the Carabao Cup final? No, it is the beginning of February. It's right there. We have oh, Champions League knockouts are before that. So, oh, my off days. Oh, no, my... <sighs> Dude, the stupid Champions League knockouts are ruining my off days. That one... I haven't had a... So, for those that weren't here yesterday, we did, like, a bunch of math, basically. I haven't had... A um a week off that wasn't an international break since the last week of of uh, August, and my first week off was going to be the third week of February. But now because we didn't get top eight in the Champions League, that's not going to happen. So this is going to be a little complex, I think. Revenge, a little bit of revenge at home. We are a rotated team today, so please give me something to write home about. Ricaro, buddy of Mwanga. Mori. Oh, he's not on though. I mean, he's so not onside. Was he onside? How was he onside? I guess the right back, maybe. Nice play by Shun. Well finished by Mikolashki, and we have the lead. Okay. Or oh, we skip the whole thing and go to Marcus Shun. Pick the ball up, carry it, cross it. Oh, get in, son! This has been pretty. If we're gonna have an end of match highlight, I'd love for it to be us just knocking the ball around and that's what it was. That is, I'm so happy with the way we just played.
Facundo. It's like Mauricio or something. I thought it was Facundo. Game management like a boss. No, oh, Ricaro, no. We weren't able to dodge the uh, the fatigue training send on vacation for a week. No, I'm just going to rest him from training for a week. So you just don't even have to go to training. You just go get your legs back after that stupid Olympic thing. Spazzato and Lopez. Oh, and the Champions League knockout draw. Oh, oh, come on. Shaka, let's just knock it out. Benfica, I'd be fine with that. I'm so okay with that. Taunton Town. Let's go to Southwest England. It's beautiful this time of year. Oh! Whoa! That's what I'm freaking talking about. Who else was it? Um, Dortmund, Lyon, PSV, Celtic, Shakhtar, Donetsk, Newcastle, Leipzig, Lazio, Monaco, Villarreal. Fun. It's like pretty balanced draw overall. This is for revenge. They actually beat us 4-1 in the first uh, match we played against them this year on the road. I don't know, guys. I think it's my graphics card. I don't think it can run Football Manager. Do you guys know 4090s can run FM? Thank goodness. I didn't have the heart to get scored on by Jake Wright from what oh yo See this this has absolutely no explanation at all. Watch Louise Fonseca. You can't even pretend he's defending somebody else because there's nobody else there. Look where he goes. He runs away from Datro Fafana while Datro Fafana's running towards the ball. We have a world-class striker that has not been in form consistently for two years. Well, that might be a weird window into us just stealing a point in this game. Um, Oh, keep calm and play games. Thank you for the tier one. We didn't deserve to win that game. We came out, we looked flat early, um, and we just weren't playing well. And we didn't really turn it around. We were fortunate to get one goal and then put some pressure on them late. But that was not our best effort. And we do not drop a lot of points at home. So that is frustrating. And, you know, a win in that match would have created a lot of comfort around us being in the top four. But... Manchester United's got our number a little bit. Their 4-3-3 kicks the kicks the crap out of our 4-3-3, honestly. On Yabaro, uh, Forrester works. Yeah, I guess that's the guy that we're going to give it to. He's been here a while. He's 29 years old. He gets the team. He can lead us out at home against Port Vale in the FA Cup. I think we'll, we'll be all right. For the favorites, I want us to play like it. Come on, boys! This is a great opportunity to see what some of these guys have on offer. Oh, shoot, the FA Cup song. Uh -uh. Sorry. Uh, mm. Please rise and remove your caps for the performance of the FA Cup anthem. It's the FA Cup. Oh, well done. Anya Barrow! Goal! Little Joe, thank you for the prime. Also, welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes, my dude. Oh, slick. I don't think he was on, though. Oh, he was. Sick. <laughs> Doing too much physical training too late in the year. Ooh, nice pass. Pizzato. Go. <laughs> I'm also just a little too determined sometimes. Like, I can just be falling over, and I'm like, oh, wow, that goalkeeper's so bad. <laughs> It's a Spazzato FA Cup hat trick. On Yabaro. Dang it. Awesome.
Very nice. Well done. Great performance from a rotated team that was able. Honestly, the worst guy out there was England international Jake Edwards, which is kind of funny. All right, there's only 16 teams left. Arsenal, Chelsea, Bournemouth, Tottenham, Villa, West Ham, United, Brighton, Wolves, Leeds or Burnley, both prem sides, Liverpool, Sheffield's the first non-Premier League team. It's a bright, sunny day. Yes! Come on! Uh, Sheffield, please. Away. Oh, you know, you got to make it a bit of a challenge, I guess. Oh, thank you. One of the three best potential draws. We get Sheffield United for a shot at the FA Cup quarterfinal. And a lot of Premier League teams with an opportunity to beat each other up. Taunt and takeover rumors not to be believed. Yes! We flipped Kevin Farrow! Come on, lads! Benfica, this would be the round they were hoping to reach in this year's Champions League. Turned over, it's Delgado, Eduardo Delgado, Oliver Martin, up towards McNerney, Gregor McNerney has scored! Oh, hello. Carlotti, oh, he's got him. Dominic Kish. Um, experience, which considering I was starting with a team that had just been promoted into the sixth tier of England, I think I had like a national A license and Sunday League player experience or something. That was the most we've come open in this game. Good. Let's get Mari turned around for once, like on, on the footedness that he's supposed to be on. Ooh, that was well done for Mass. Oh, how did he fit that in? Nice. Oh, Mateo, oh, Mass, what? How did he miss that? He scored the other one and missed that. This was a great performance, though. On the road, Benfica's no chump. And we dropped a 3-0. We were able to rotate. Made the doubters eat their words. Apparently, Benfica would have been favored in this game. Yeah, I don't think so. Great performance. Great freaking performance. <laughs> Olympic Lyon just won away to Dortmund, so there's that. Somebody said over under 6.2 for Dom Kish. He won player of the match. So reports of his demise, perhaps slightly exaggerated. If we win this match, we've created serious separation for a top four finish. Will it be the first major trophy? Uh, no, we've won the Europa League, but we have never won a major English trophy. So our opportunity in the League Cup final is to win our first major English trophy. We have won the Europa League. Uh, we won the championship and we did win uh, League One as well. Ooh, that was a stupid switch and a bad header by Carlotti to give them the ball back. Thank you, Valenzuela. Carlotti was very trusting that we were going to keep that ball, and he was not the he was not right to be trusting us there. Oh goodness, we might be onto it. Let's go. Come on, get right back in it, baby. Right back in it.
We also, if we get one here, we get this to 3-2 with like 20 minutes left. We do have um, Kish on the bench. Well, that was disappointing. Obviously, unfortunate, but I, a lot of that just came down to some really terrible efforts from some players. Some really, really terrible efforts from some players. That'd be uh, Kurd and... All right, Champions League anthem, please. Telegraph that for like an hour and a half, man. Ooh, hello, Delgado in Kish. Goal! Nice, Bevilacqua. Oh, left. Papul Badiamuanga. Delgado! Brilliant. Oh, who was off? My grandmother? She is sitting behind the goal. She was definitely offside. Proper defending by Grant Lee Poor there. Game is not gone. And then he makes the pass to Dom Kish. How does he still have the ball? That looked like the most ad hoc run. Had no control over it the whole time. Pen. Oh! Oh! 10 Champions League matches, which will be at least 12. So that's 50. We are up to our third FA Cup match, which is 53. League Cup second round. Or... Third round, League Cup, third round, fourth round. It'd be about 60, maybe even north of 60 as a club. All right, round of 16, Champions League. We did it. I, mean, I know we kind of knew that we were going to do it, but we finished it off in style with another win. Do I still participate in a network save? Uh, no, Lyon just knocked out Dortmund. Wow. Wow. Newcastle won away to Shakhtar. Yeah, it's not a surprise. All the Premier League teams are going to be very, very good. Rafael Riquero just got suspended for the next Champions League match, which is no fun. Kish won player of the match in both of our Champions League ties. Let's see how the, uh, we are the first Champions League tie to come to a conclusion. Awesome. Enter. Can uh, please enter. Please knock out PSG. They won their home match, which is crazy. Please. Please knock out PSG. I will be so happy if you knock PSG out of this thing. Uh, FA Cup replays. Somebody gets to play freaking Reading. Inter did it. City won away to Real Sociedad as well, but Inter has done it. They have beaten PSG 3-2. to two. Leipzig beat Lazio, Monaco, and Villarreal. Kind of one half dozen to the other there. But Inter has knocked out PSG in the first round of the Champions League. I'm so happy we get to play a league match with these guys. This is so awesome. I forgot what this felt like. There, you'll be able to find it. Just make sure you really read that guide closely. Let's go, Eduardo. Let's freaking go, Eduardo. Oh, hey, baby! Goal! Oh, great pass by Delgado. That has to be a goal. 
Oh, it's on a platter. Keeper's scrambling. Good save. That was a good save. We just fell apart here. I'm going to watch this again. Like, we got, I mean, somebody, anybody? I'm shocked you haven't won the league in this save. I mean, the Premier League, he's off. Uh, the Premier League in this save is so, and I, I think in most saves, when you go forward into the future, the talent level is so high, like so incredibly high because of the amount of money. I mean, this Everton team is in 14th. They have Luke Dalton, who is absolutely worth over 100 million. They've got Abdulhamid Saleh, who is a really, really good striker. Oh, we should be able to counter this so hard. Everybody was up. Good pass. Look for Kish. Left side. Let it go. I mean, mass. That's it. That's the pass. I, oh man, that was a freaky last five minutes, but. Oh, that was a freaky last five minutes, but we won. But we won. Okay. Needed to win that game at home against a team we should be beating. And we did beat them. And Tottenham lost. So all of a sudden, we have a chance to claw our way back into reach with Tottenham. We actually have a match in hand, and our next league match is hey, against Tottenham. Hey, chat. Cipriano. <laughs> this is what scouting is all about. Cipriano Cagnisa, he's still in the Paraguayan League. This is what scouting is all about. Who got the report? Who friggin' found him from the recruitment team? Well, that doesn't tell me anything. Vlad Jobs. Our chief scout, Vlad Jobs, understands the assignment. Cipriano Cagnisa. He'll get it on appeal. He would be granted a work permit. All right, sweet. $850,000 for Cipriano Cagnitza. He already has, uh, you know, the size, the teamwork, technical defensive abilities already really solid. Uh, adaptability concerns can be allayed by the fact that we already have a center back from Paraguay. Vlad Jobs, you're a legend. Anime wows. Figured it made sense. Oh, my goodness. He wants no money either. This is crazy. This guy has absolutely no idea how good he is. I think he'll take it. I don't know why I was a little nervous that he wouldn't, but a five-year contract for Cipriano Cagnitza. <sighs> Just like, yeah, they're joining the writers. I suppose so. Like Killian Murphy walked out of the premiere. Anyways. Third round. <sighs> Us. Cool! Cool! Let's go, Germany! Let's go, Or we could play Liverpool's God Squad. Yeah, that sounds fun. I would love to do that. Freaking Champions League favorites. Did they just reschedule the final? They've rescheduled the final twice. Dude, I just want to play the final. What a joke of a trophy that you just rescheduled. They rescheduled the... Okay. Okay. Come on, lads. There we go. We're going to win a cup double this year. We're in the League Cup final. <laughs> FA Cup, only 16 teams left, and here we are with an easy draw. Expect nothing but a win from this match. That's very true. All right. Come on, then. 
Oh, give me that. Edwards. Papol Badiamuanga. Most entertaining name on the team, Mateo Mass. Up for Spazzano! Brilliant! You have my attention. Spazzato. Come on, man. It's there. Oh, he got reeled in. But Mass is there. Mateo, my goodness. <laughs> this Chandler guy has been living behind our line. And he has a great head of hair. Yes, come on. Come on! Oh, there's extra time. That's good and bad, I think. Because I have brought in a few first team guys, but okay. I'm s just, oh, what the. I'm just happy that we don't have a replay. I am just happy we don't have a replay, honestly. That was just disappointing. That was a, that, that was a bucket of disappointment. We just we, we just missed a million different looks and uh, Cancel Rich getting worse. I love to see it. Cipriano Cagnitza for less than a million dollars. Looks like a truly amazing signing that will hopefully uh, become a star player for us in the future. Okay. Full first team, with the exception of Valenzuela in for Riquero, which doesn't change our set piece stuff at all, so we don't need to make any changes. a team capable of beating anybody in the world we are playing against arguably the best team in the world in liverpool right now
This is my champion sleeping at the Just hold on to those thoughts for a second. Just hold on to those thoughts for a second because Grantley Poor is here to score like his first goal for the club. are trying to make the sickest play of all time. Dude, we were about to actually have an amazing highlight there, too. Oh. Great response. That was a great response. I mean, considering we went 2-0 down in 16 minutes, the fact that we will go in to Anfield with every chance to get to the next round is fantastic because it looked like we were about to get washed away. So we're, we're going to have to go in and play a good game from the start, obviously. But, oh, man, that is a huge relief that we ended up getting that much out of it because we will go into Enfield with every chance to go through. Mm -hmm, that's going to be a spicy second tie. Kish scouted by Liverpool. Oh, I think they were there for the game, Bob. But sure. Maybe they were just there to you know, check us out. Nothing like playing the backups away to Tottenham. Who are second in the league right now.